Howdy y'all, I'm Joshy and this here is Mocked. Where we take what you build, take it apart, and then take the piss! Today, I have a special treat for y'all. A video review of a video review some guy made for his own mock. This one's an example of the Mockist's masterpiece Matoran build called Marduk and was built by Tributron. Shit kind of name is that? Is that like an Autobond who likes to jizz on images of people? Or would that be something a Decepticon does? Anyways, my rating system will be the same one I always use, that being the one I stole from Venom, where we judge three different vital attributes of the mock, its looks, its build, and the ideas and or story that went into it or came out of it. Each attribute can score up to 10 points, and then we'll see how close to 30 we can get near the end of the video. And please, if you have any other thoughts on the mock, that is good. I'm not forcing my opinion onto you, I'm just voicing it. Very loudly. Well then, let's get to doing just that. Hello, fellow content fans, this is your host, Tributron here. Alright, so the video starts off with the builder in his crappy looking Kanohi, yapping away for almost a good two minutes. A nice mechanism, by the way, do you have experience with building fursuits? Now one thing that'll really bother my ass is his thick-ass accent. Down in such a way where it's much more efficient and furthermore much more reliable than previous designs seen in the robots. Like, compared to him, Psychedelic Eyeball? speaks Oxford English. So he's just sitting there yakking away about, I don't even fucking know, feigning enthusiasm and swinging his head about to see if his dangles are still there like on his camcorder. And eventually his first, I mean mask, fucks up and then he just <laughs> panics and stops the video. Anyway, on with the review. Behold, fellow compatriots, this is Marduk. I mean, and I'd have to say, this is a masterpiece rendition of what a Tahunga design would look like. Not really, um, this is a masterpiece rendition of what a Tahunga would look like, because that is actually what a Tahunga would look like. Yours is just, how do you say, a reimagining of sorts. Now let's go and compare some traits to the original body parts, specifically the McTorn feet that we all came to know and love. Remember these little feet? Why specifically? Is it because that's the only part that somewhere looks remotely close to a McTorn part? What's what the fuck, nigga? Give Tahata your foot back. Holy shit. So, you may be noticing, I replicated the toe design over here, you know, the toes. So, he has little toes that bend, he has posable toes, and the heels, you know, this little loop, I replicated that as well, and the angular s section right over here that you can tell, like an angular. One thing you probably haven't noticed is that he repeats himself a lot. I've just cut out three repeats where he tried to say the same thing about two or four times. I think it's because he isn't a native English speaker, so he tries to think of something that sounds like what he wants to say in his own language. That happens with me too, that's why I write scripts for my videos, which he seems to not have done. He just ends up stuttering the same word three times until he gives up. Which is fucking annoying! This little bar over here, I replicated down over here. Okay, we get it. We get it. It's modeled closely after the McTorrent foot. Get on with it. Why do you put. I don't know why, but he puts a lot more detail into explaining the foot than anything else. This worries me. This little section right here, the tippy top, it's kind of like this flat section over here. So he looks like as if he's wearing like little boots, which is adorable. Let's get down to possibility and then to the functionality. What? You're already done with describing the looks of your mock? By describing the feet? 
All right, let me just paste what I said about it then. Here I go. So yeah, the things he says about the design uh, are pretty accurate, but only really the feet have a look to them that stands out. Besides that, this is a lanky motherfucker with a neck that makes mine look short. Everything looks unnecessarily elongated, from the legs to the torso. Also, why are the colors so fucky? Uh, he got the dark green uh, eye stuck piece, red face. It's a great uh, um, secondary color uh, compared to the green. You may be. It can be if you do it well. Feet goes forward this far. Goes back this far. So decent range um, for tilt. You got a great range of tilt. That's another thing he's gonna say in this video a shit ton when looking at joints. Great range. Wow, it can it can bend 13 degrees. Great range of, of movement. Wow, it's going to be great range. I'm going to bend it. The toes. Fuck it, I'm outing you for a foot fetish. This is enough. Also, nobody is ever going to move the toes on a mark. Can we skip all of the fucking angles your joints can bend? I'm gonna be making more Matorna in this design since it is parts efficient and not as costly as um, the movie verse uh, Takua. Nigga, you're making marks, not producing tanks for the German infantry. So? So he does the full Van Damme and beyond because it's a ball joint. Uh, forward movement, back movement, uh, I mean, he could do the full 360 on the legs if you so wanted him to. His, he can also lose his arm. You're saying that like it's funny, but I don't hear myself laughing at that. Because this just proves that your Mox build is shit in the fundamental build. Because he just lost his fucking arm from having a shitty connection. This is proving that your build is flawed. He gets a little wiggle waggle in the leg here. Wow, a little wiggle waggle in the in the legs. <laughs> I should stop writing scripts. I should stop making reviews altogether. This guy is way better at wording than me. His waist. Um, I did a simple design with the waist. I didn't went too crazy with it because I tried to do piston design, but um, how compact the the waist is. I, I, I decided not to, so he goes full wiggly waggly wiggly waggly movement. He can bend forward this far and he can bend back in 90 degrees, so he has a lot of range in the back, but not so much in the front. Uh, due to this like cutout over here, it makes it lean forward a lot more easier. So, yeah. Alright, so arms. They can do a full 360. Um, can go up this far. I mean, it's a ball joint, so you got a lot of range. Um, elbows, but you got like a 45 degree, over 90 degrees, over 90 degrees. I would say maybe um, 95, maybe 100. 100 might be a little bit too much, but oh well. For once, not trying to insult Tributron here, but is he autistic? He has to be like really specific about the angle anything can bend. Like, I made the joke earlier about how oh 13 degrees. No, he's being really fucking specific now. Is he actually like autistic with with the number things? Um, he has no wrist um swivel due to you know compensation for the gear function. Well, there's no gears in him, but it's still a function nonetheless. He can throw, he can throw. Now, um, you may be noticing, compared to previous designs that I've done with the throwing arm function, the thumb is smaller than this. Then the thumb, okay, fine, Marduk, you just take a rest, so. And here is what happens when you have a mock with a waist that is only a ball joint which is able to bend back a full 90 degrees. It has a shitty balance and it will fall over because of that. I have that with my mock Shake Your Foundations which is terribly built and I hate it because it constantly falls over 
But you know, just to have that articulated waist, you, you take that risk. It happens, it will happen to you, it is inevitable. Do something to balance out the bendability of the back of your mock. There we go, so the thumb here got a lot of wiggly waggly, wiggly waggly, you can move it a lot. Um, his fingers, arm extend, there we go. They can bend up 90 degrees, they can bend down at least um, one. Two. About like two clicks. The way the piece these two uh, joints are connected to is already bending upwards tells me that two clicks is a bit too far and this is getting into illegal territory. I mean, I, I think I just hurt the police. That, that sounded like a sire. Not sure if that was someone in your house or part of this karaoke version I'm using, but uh, I'm pretty sure you're getting arrested for this illegal joint. Thank you, Marduk, for being helpful. So you can do in a, like a dynamic hand pose or something like yeah, that. Pose. I'm not so sure. I haven't tried it yet. If he can stand on one hand, he probably could. But if this janky, wobbly motherfucker can stand on that tiny hand, you fucking send me proof of that. I fucking doubt it. I can look up this far. So 90 degrees of bend. Um, Leans down, bends his head down, um, at least one click down, so he can't look down too much, but, I mean, he can look down enough. Hey, moron! Fucking moron! If you want him to look down, you can bend his fucking waist! You don't need to give him a neck the length of a giraffe's to make him look up! IF YOU GIVE HIM A BENDABLE WAIST! You may be noticing, I keep adjusting this. Every single time in a review. That's because it's on a ball joint, so... Yeah. <laughs> the breast swivel! It confirmed! <laughs> breast will swivel. If you call this possibility, then sure, sure, you can call it possibility. I call it a SHIT BUILD, YOU DUMB NIGGER! If you know it's not fixed, then find a way to fix it, you have plenty of fucking room to move things there! It's not funny, you sick fuck! That's fucking sad! That you acknowledge that it is shit, but you keep it and say, it's a feature. Who are you, Joel? Now, time for the mechanism. So, let's get this disc over here. And then I decided instead to, uh, cutting together more sentences, I just cut out the audio and speed up the process how he inserts the disc because all he says here is how he only had one McTorn and we don't fucking care about your life history. Get fucking on with it. Do you know how to cut? There we go. So Marduk can hold the disc. What you do is you turn him around and there's this lever here. You're probably wondering why not pull on the arm itself? That is because the ball joint connection is fucking shit. So you pull on this, and he throws it. I'm not so sure if you saw that. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do it in a different angle. Let's see this. Okay, that didn't throw that far. Let me go ahead and try that again. I want to do a good review, but at least his hand throws in no matter how tight you put the thumb. It still throw okay, that hit the, the thing and it went... It hit over there, and then it ricocheted over here. My fucking ass it did! Liar! To sum up all the yelling I'm doing right now, um... His... Masterpiece build is built terribly because it seems cobbled together parts flip and flop about and fall off Which is especially bad if the part that falls off is needed for the function of the mark I can say the function is good and cleverly thought up But sadly you failed at replicating it here from your previous successful attempt because as I said just 
a few seconds ago, the arm keeps falling off, and also the disc flies pretty shittily. You can tell me it hit the wall all you want, but I I can slow down the recording and see that it just goes down in a, like an arc. I'm gonna do that. If I'm proven wrong, then I don't fucking know. In a way, we were both right, because it did fly in an arc, but it did hit the carton, but it didn't as much ricochet as it rolled away. That's really what he meant, I guess. But yeah, it does fly in a terribly crappy arc. I, I should probably just be quiet. Anyway, so this is Marduk. No, just a regular old Tahunga. A regular old Tahunga. A regular old Tahunga. Here he is with Takua. As you can see, you know, get an idea of how big uh, Marduk is. You know how we'd see how big he is? If you use the set! An official set! Now you're just comparing it to other weird shit that you built. This is not giving me a size reference. Us is showing me you can build better mocks than that shit. You fucking idiot. There he is with Tahu. And on uh, something a little bit closer to home, um If you had a Pohatsu growing up, here is that size oh, comparison. Hey, it's something I actually know the size of. It only took you two other mocks. And a fucking update video on your shitty Tahu. That actually doesn't look shitty, but better than this piece of shit. Also, really, nigga? You couldn't be bothered to replace his leg with something else? Get out of here. Anyway, so this is Marduk. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll be sh And the Borg are coming soon. I hope they're coming soon to eradicate everything that is around you and yourself. Speaking of cleaning it all, it must be cleaned. I'm gonna clean my slate with a bit of bleach. And the core concept is the one thing he keeps talking about in this video. And you've already heard it from him. It's a Tahunga inspired build. Now, I'm gonna put up a photo of Tahata real quick. Just so we can compare. Y'all notice something? A Tahunga is very short, squat, and very broad in his body. This fucker is basically a flipped aspect ratio version of that. Long, extended, and awful. And in his blind illusion of this fucker being his masterpiece build, he doesn't even notice it looks like shit. And then he keeps on comparing it to other mocks he has previously made, which look far better than this one. Now for starters, I'd suggest removing the upper legs because they serve no purpose and just look like shit and maybe attaching a head to that floppy shit you use for a chest and maybe find a way to fix that shit to be less floppy so it actually looks like a Tahunga and it's not just the bigger the better the taller the fatter now what this Jigaboo doesn't realize is that if you want to have a build inspired by something you better make it the aspects that are good about the thing now you just made it taller because you could you just made it have that function because you had that function. What you didn't do is consider the parts that are the charm of the Tahunga. They don't have much articulation, I know, but in you trying to fix that, you made it look terrible. You see the neck. I wanted it to have, you know, head swiveling motion and uh, it should look up and down like a few clicks. I don't fucking care about how many clicks it can move its head up and down. What am I, a fucking battle droid? No, I just want it to be aesthetically pleasing and functional at the same time, not being overly functional and looking like shit. Your Matoran inspired build doesn't look like a Matoran, or at least like the Matoran you want it to look like. You have fucked up the entire idea you had by making the build the opposite of what the original build was. Do you understand what I mean, or am I just being crazy rambling right now because I'm so angry. I couldn't script this part if I tried. And I said it before in a like karma manner. Comparing your quote unquote masterpiece Matoran build to all the other great looking mocks. And I, I can say this, I'm not shitting on him because I want to shit on him. I'm shitting on him because 
his Masterpiece Matoran build, compared to the other Matoran build he has, looks like garbage. He has built much better, much more functional, much cooler mocks, and now he just slams this pile of shit here and says, this is my masterpiece. He doesn't notice what he's doing. This is my problem. He has overplanned the mock. He has done too much. He has put too much effort into it to get a good result, which happens a lot. People who want too much out of their mock end up making a mess. And it's not only for mocks, that, that's in the fucking world. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, I'm... I'm I've tried to review this, but it just... This mock, this guy, this builder fucks me up so much. Fuck it, let's get to the scores. I'm not even gonna do like a fucking Joe, I'm not gonna fuck around with like my... My voice or something. Fuck it, just scores. The looks of this mock get a 4 out of 10. It's janky, uncanny, and the only detailed part are the feet, which I must admit are good, but the rest pales in comparison, and the color scheme, no matter how cool you think it is, is all over the place. The build gets a 7 out of 10, because it's innovative, but fails in several places. Pieces have terrible connections, aren't fixed in place, and the weight distribution gets fucked by one joint in the hip. The only thing he put a lot of thought into building are once again the feet. And Solek up above, I don't want to know why he focuses on the feet so much. The concept gets 0 out of 10 points. He doesn't get a single point because he missed the one point his mock was aiming for. And that was being a reimagining of the Tohunga, the small, short, waddly villages of Mata Nui Island. And he turned his creation into a beanstalk with lanky appendages that just looks nothing like a Tohunga and only seems overly complicated. That gives this mock 11 out of 30 points. Tear this mock down, Tributron. Try new build. One that doesn't look like shit. Now, if you know me, I don't usually get that angry at mocks and mockists. But this one was... something. Anyway, if you want me to be very critical of your mocks, you can tweet your mocks page on whatever site you uploaded in, then I can take a look at it, but that won't happen, so fuck it. Also, for once, I would like... I would actually like some feedback. I always encourage feedback. You can always comment on my videos and tell me how shit my content is and what to do better, but now I actually want some feedback on whether I should keep this, whether I should sometimes just pick video reviews as well of people reviewing their builds, or I should just go back to, um, of course I'm not gonna stick with this. I'm, I'm still gonna keep reviewing people um, who just upload images on, like, TTVs, boards, or... Bionicle.com, but I would appreciate uh, if you'd let me know whether you prefer me doing only that or also incorporating um, these video reviews that people do of their own mocks. Anyway, uh, regardless of, of anything of that, feel free to join me next time when I hope I won't lose my temper. Bye!